2002, you took part in the gumball rally race from New York to Los Angeles. Seated behind the wheel of an Xbox styled Mini Cooper, you finished 12th ahead of many of your fellow drivers who were in Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and Porsches. It had to have been a very special moment for you. Oh, it was so much fun. Uh, it was, um, and you know, uh, funnily enough, my parents actually took part in the original Cannonball, the last one that was held in 79 with Brock Yates. Um, so I grew up with that experience as well. Wow. Uh, but the gumball was great. And, you know, what was fun about it is being, and it was when the mini had first come out, right? So it sort of had that, that phenomena, like the, the, the new Volkswagen Beetle did when it first came out, like people were just delighted at the sight of it. Um, but it also had, enough of it, actually. yeah, yeah. And I was lucky enough that, um, mini got us the first one to come into the East coast for this event. Um, but really like maybe a 10th of the power of any other car in the field, but kind of a sleeper because, you know, when you're out in the middle of nowhere and a cop has the choice between stopping a little silver box or stopping a red Ferrari, <laughs> 10 we out of 10. Car is going to go yes, down. <laughs> yes. So it was amazing because it turned out to be um, a very stealth choice. And aside from the fact that it, it took about 10 minutes to get up to speed, um, it was because it, it wasn't even an S, it was a pure Mini Cooper. Um, so my rule was just, you just never get off the gas. I treated every gas stop like a pit stop. Get to the floor. Yeah. You just never stop because you don't want to take the time to get back up to speed again. <laughs> well, and you know, you mentioned the Beetle. I want to go back to uh, just one other racing thing for a moment. Midtown Madness, 1999, the racing game that you were a part of. And you know that players started off with five new vehicles. <laughs> and five more were unlockable and those available vehicles one of them was a volkswagen new beetle as it's known oh by the way a ford f-350 a city bus a freightliner century truck <laughs> i love those racing games yeah you know i think there was something just about the the freedom like that was sort of a pillar of the game experience right it was all about just player freedom and that sense of exhilaration that comes from driving how you want, wherever you want, in a city that you recognize. Um, I will tell you that the, we worked very late nights on that game. And the, uh, the drive home for all of us when you're, when you're playing that game night and day um, <laughs> is a little perilous. Um, but yeah, I, you know, it, it, um, it had just real enough physics, right, that you could suspend disbelief and really, again, get that personal um, sense of empowerment and freedom. Um, it was a wacky game, uh, but it was also, it, you know, I still have people coming up to me about that game. Streets of Chicago, is that where it was? Yep, we had Chicago. Um, we had a few different versions. I remember, because back in that day, um, the way you mapped a city is you basically walked the streets and took pictures um, of all of the all of the streets and storefronts, and it was about 105 degrees in the middle of uh, <laughs> Chicago summer uh, when we were when we were capturing photos for that. Amazing. 